I, I remember this time, and, and I'm in, I'm on totally something different. It's after the movie's been out. And I'm at the airport in Ottawa, and I'm just about to go through the security thing. And some guy goes, hey, there's that junkie in the movie. Thanks. All of a sudden, bang, 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 bang. I have every security guard in the world. I'm going in for secondary screening. Next thing, I'm going in for a strip search. Next thing, I'm on the next plane because I get kicked right off that plane. I'm so late. So it became this double-edged sword. Like It gave me notoriety so that I could, I could proffer my message to people um, because there is a message that um, um, drug use is, is something that can be dealt with. Um, it, it's not a lost cause nor are the people that are, are, are addicted to the drugs. But as time goes on, I, I've used the movie more as a tool. It's not, it's not part of uh, who I, well, I guess it's still part of who I am because um, it, you know, a lot of people, you know, that was a really good movie. You did really good work. It still has a message. It, it's almost timeless because drug addiction is timeless. It's not time for inaction, it's time for action. I think it's What's happening here has been happening in places everywhere for a lot since they made drugs illegal, which is, you know, pretty well the 20s. Since the 20s on, we've had this mess. And, um, you know, we saw what happened when you made alcohol illegal. The same thing happened when drugs were made illegal. But, as I say, the movie is, is now a tool. I, um, the Open Society in New York City, which funds a lot of harm reduction programs around the world, send us, sends us people from all over. I've had people from Macedonia, from Ukraine, from Russia, from uh, Thailand, from Cambodia, and they come and um, they have to do a tour of the downtown east side with me, and they get a copy of the, we watch the movie Fix, and so I can tell them, because it, it sort of is a, a nice chronological pattern, what happened and how we did it and how a group of, of people who probably should never be able to achieve what we did, achieved it. And the movie was part of that. The movie was part of the whole movement. And, and that, was, that was unique. You know, it documented the movement and then it was part of the movement and I've used it to show it because it's, a, it's, 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 it's the truth. And that's, that movie is the truth. Uh, going on tour uh, with the movie, which was really cool and I loved it because I like, once I got used to standing out in front of people and talking, I loved it. And, and we did the course, every time we went into the city, we'd stay there for a week, there'd be a seven o'clock and a nine o'clock showing, but we did a forum between the seven and nine show. Once the seven o'clock movie ended, we'd do a forum and we got to talk to everybody. And it was really cool. There was either me and, and Anne or the mayor, but there was always a group of us, and mostly me. I was at most of them. And, um, but I wasn't on methadone back then, which would have made the whole trip a little bit easier. <laughs> because, you know, I had to score. And what was to stay normal. But it worked in the end, and it was part of what was really happening in my life anyways. And, and People that thought, oh, they're acting for that film. I never acted for that film. And uh, what you see is the truth. And you see the truth in everything in that movie. It was, it, you know, maybe the first couple of days that the cameras are around, I noticed it. But after being filmed for a while, you don't notice it and you just carry on.